Welcome to this video on the Group and Replace feature in Tableau Prep. You can download the packaged flow file underneath the video to follow along in your own copy of Tableau Prep. A common issue in data cleanliness is the presence of multiple values that should be a single value, such as GB and Great Britain. To deal with this in Tableau Prep, we can leverage the Group and Replace feature in a cleaning step. This feature allows us to group multiple values and replace them with a single value, essentially re-aliasing. To begin, we're on a cleaning step in the flow. In the Profile pane, we can see the fields in the dataset. This is clearly nonsense data to illustrate a feature, not data we should try to analyze. The Airbnb Listings field displays a common data cleanliness issue, inconsistencies of how a specific piece of information is captured. Here. The room information, bedroom or bathroom, was recorded multiple different ways. There's no easy way to programmatically remap these to be consistent, so we'll do a manual group and replace. First, we'll click on the card for the Airbnb listings field and open the menu. Under Group and Replace, we'll choose Manual Selection. Whatever we select first will become the replacing value. We'll use Bath. With that replacing value selected, the right side of the editor will display the remaining values. Select all the values that should be grouped under the replacing value. The left side of the editor will display a preview of the new values for the field, with a grouping paperclip icon beside bath, indicating that it's a grouped value. Let's do the same thing for bed. Select it on the left and choose the values to be grouped from the right. We can see at the top on the right side, the grouping values checkmark is grayed out, but the others can be toggled, allowing us to remove them from the group if desired. Since we took something out of the bath group, when we removed it from bed, it's now an ungrouped value. Let's add it back to bath. Click the bath bar to the left and add it back into the group. It's worth noting that if we were to refresh this data and a new value, such as beds, popped up in this field, it would not be added to any group. If we want to make sure that beds is added to the bed group, even though it's not currently present in the domain of the data, we can manually add it. Over in the left side of the editor, click the plus icon. We can now type the net new value, beds. It shows with a red dot, indicating that it's outside the domain, but otherwise it functions the same as any other value. If we click back into the bed group, we can now add the new red dot beds value. Now if the data is refreshed and beds shows up in this field, when the flow is run, that value will be grouped appropriately. Manual selection is good for instances where incorrect values are irregular or fairly different from the desired value. However, there are two options that apply algorithms to help group values. In the misspellings column, we have four commonly misspelled words and several variations for each word. In each instance, the incorrect versions are at least approximately pronounced the same way as the correct spelling. This is the kind of error a spell checker may catch. We can use the pronunciation option for group and replace, which uses the Metaphone 3 algorithm to automatically address these misspellings. We'll click on the card and open the menu, then select Group and Replace pronunciation. The grouping is automatic this time. We can see on the left of the editor the new groups. Because the correct spelling was the most common value, that is what is chosen as the replace value. If the replace value was ever not the desired value, we can right-click on the new group and select Edit Value, then modify it to be what we want. Clicking on a group also opens the right side of the editor and exposes the values in the group, and we can manually add to or remove from the group if desired. The last group and replace option is common characters. In the name formatting column, we see that some of the names are listed as last name, comma, first name, rather than the more common first name, last name. We don't want to have two values for the same person, so we should group them. Common Characters uses the n-gram fingerprint algorithm to identify words by their unique characters, thus recognizing that Dorian Gray and Gray, Dorian are the same. 
As with pronunciation, the grouping is automatic, and the most commonly occurring value in the group becomes the replace value. It's important to remember that algorithms are not perfect. We recommend checking the groups to ensure data is not incorrectly grouped. A group that is automatically created can be modified just like a manual group by clicking on the bar and using the right side of the editor to choose the correct values. Although only one method of group and replace can be performed at a time, if an algorithm misses a group that should exist, we can create a manual group in the editor in addition to the automatic groups. Finally, if we need to simply address a typo or other small-scale issue, we can always directly edit a value. If, for example, we fix this misspelling of Tableau by right-clicking and editing the value, it will automatically be grouped with the correct value. Thank you for watching this video on Group and Replace in Tableau Prep. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.